an eminent five-member jury chaired by former Reserve Bank Deputy Governor S.S. Mundra selected the 58-year-old chief executive of the country's largest private sector bank as the Banker of the Year. Sashidhar Jagdishan's journey at HDFC Bank started in 1996 as a manager in the finance function. His initial days as the CEO were not smooth. Just after a month of appointment, in early December 2020, the banking regulator barred HDFC Bank from onboarding new credit card customers and launching new digital products due to repeated outages in the bank's mobile and internet banking platforms. The regulatory action was a big blow to HDFC which was by far the largest credit card issuer in the country. In a rare gesture, Jagadishan apologized to the bank customers after the RBI action and went on a war footing to plug the gaps. By the end of 2021-22, satisfied with the bank's efforts, the banking regulator decided to lift all the bans, a testimony to his leadership during a crisis, which was also noted by the jury. Quote, HDFC Bank continued to register a strong financial performance augmented shareholders' value, and growth ratios are impressive despite a much larger base. Jagdishan navigated the bank smoothly through the technology challenges it was facing when he took over the reins. This is also a recognition of his leadership skills." Unquote. The other jury members were Vice Chairman and CEO of HDFC Limited, KK Mistri, Icon Investment Advisor Chairman Anil Singhvi, Aditya Bilna's Sun Life Asset Management Company MD and CEO A. Bala Subramanian, and former MD and CEO of Bank of Baroda, P.S. Jayakumar. Known to his colleagues as Sashi, Jagdishan took charge of HDFC Bank on 27th of October 2020, after his illustrious predecessor Aditya Puri demitted office after turning 70, the maximum age for a CEO in a private sector bank according to RBI norms. The banking regulator approved Jagdishan's appointment for three years, after which he is eligible for an extension. For the financial year 2021-22, HDFC Bank reported an 18.8% increase in net profit to 36,961.3 crore rupees, backed by an 11% increase in net interest income to 72,009.6 crore rupees. Analysts said that deposit mobilization was critical for the bank to fund a balance sheet of 20 trillion rupees after its merger with HDFC. In terms of challenges, while it has been a very eventful journey because he has been at the helm of the bank just for a little around three years now and he has already faced and uh, very skillfully handled the banks in these uh, difficult situations, I think incre incrementally going from here, uh, the deposit franchise is, is going to be very critical. Bank has been very vocal and looking to like step up the deposit mobilization run rate. And at a, in an environment wherein deposit rates are moving up very sharply and uh, all, almost every bank is fighting hard to the best of their ability. And for HDFC Bank, given how the merger is also going to happen, and therefore to fund the combined loan book on the back of deposits, it has to in fact raise even more quantum of deposits, for which we believe bank is uh, on track, it's preparing well. And uh, already, if you look at the pace of branch expansion, uh, wherein they have expanded considerably, I think this over a medium term, not in the immediate term, because it takes time for branches to scale up and then to uh, break even and generate as much business. But in the medium term, we expect that these branches will be playing an instrumental role in raising the requ required quantum of deposit. HDFC Bank, which had an 11.2% share of the loan market and 9.5% share of deposits by the end of 2021-22, is the most valued lender in the country with over $100 billion in market capitalization. With over 70 million customers and 6,300 branches, the bank had a total business of close to 30 trillion rupees by the end of FY22, second only to the behemoth State Bank of India. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. I am the blue of the limitless sky. I am the inspiration that lets success soar high. I will achieve.
I'm backed by the nation's trusted bank, SBI, the banker to every Indian.